after sending untrained sales workers to work on vehicles amid a service crisis in the service, we now learn that Tesla is bringing the workers back to sales for another end of quarter push for a new end of the quarter goal. Electric reports today. Here's what they said. Earlier this year, we all learned about Tesla CEO Elon Musk's renewing efforts to improve the automaker service, especially in North America, where many Tesla owners are experiencing long wait times to get their cars into service in some markets. We know that Tesla CEO Elon Musk is trying to fix that now. Electric exclusively reported that Tesla was launching a new effort to revolutionize service with bigger centers and more specializations. In June, we learned that uh, Elon Musk's renewed attention, attention on Tesla service came due to the department experiencing bigger issues than previously believed. The CEO made service a new top priority for Tesla and even canceled sales and delivery targets to focus on it, to focus on service. We even learned that Tesla pulled untrained sales workers from their positions to work on cars in service centers. A few months later, Electric has learned that Tesla is now starting to gradually bring the employees back into their roles in sales as the automaker is trying to deliver as many vehicles as possible at the end of the quarter, according to sources familiar with the matter. This is per electric reports. We know that third quarter is expected to be a very good quarter for Tesla. We'll look for that. And like I said, I'm not in the stock market. So over the last year, Musk has said that Tesla would try to move away from its model that results in larger pushes for deliveries at the end of quarters, but it had a difficult time achieving that. Last quarter ended up being another nutty one, according to the CEO. While the end of quarter three should have a more manageable delivery push, sources familiar with the matter told Electric that Tesla's Model 3 and Model S production is going to be a bit higher than its sales backlog. Hence why the automaker is now pulling the sales workers back from Tesla service to sales. Sources also told Electric that Tesla is seeing a decent number of customers trying uh, to delay their orders to 2023 in an attempt to have access to the new federal tax credit for electric vehicles. However, Tesla has decided to stick to the original order contracts with customers and cancel orders if delivery is delayed too long. The results in factory build slots opening for some Model 3 and Model S variants for the end of the quarter. I will have all the links in the description of this video so you can check the references, friends. Now, um, I wouldn't necessarily take this as a bad sign, says Electric, and I agree uh, for Tesla's demand. After all, Tesla literally stopped taking orders on some more popular versions of its vehicles due to the backlog getting too long. It just looks like some production uh, allotment is not matching orders and Tesla is short on stuff in sales to rectify the situation since it sent a decent number of employees to work on service. Now, while Tesla is not pushing as much for end of quarter delivery waves, the automaker still doesn't want to be sitting on too many vehicles in inventory at the end of the quarter because it looks bad on its financials. This is why Tesla is making these things. It has been a while since Tesla had to pull a demand trigger, but it doesn't look like it is going for a major one. Tesla Giga Berlin is one of the manufacturer's newest factories and builds vehicles using the latest technology. As soon as the construction of the main building and visitor area are completed, Giga Berlin will open tours for visitors from any country for anyone. Look at the details, but in record time, actually built in record time by German standards, Giga Berlin continues to ramp up its production now. The factory that produces the Model Y has several times opened its doors to visitors and held a few events, including informational uh, events outside its walls. To be even more open to the public, 
the looks it looks like the company is planning to open the factory for tours that will help anyone familiarize themselves with the latest manufacturing processes used to build cars you know that tesla giga berlin has a lot of critics because people are concerned about the environment about the changes that giga berlin is bringing to the area now on september 11 yesterday sunday tesla held an information event in germany 40 employees of the company shared important information with the public at 10 booths. These include the factory's water consumption, logistics, the battery plant that Tesla is currently building, and much more. All this information was extremely important for local citizens since the factory is located in their country, since the factory is located in Brandenburg in their cities okay they changed the lifestyle there i've been in east germany things are different there however uh, gf4 tesla twitter user who also attended the event drew attention to information that would be of interest to everyone regardless of their country of residence giga berlin will now offer public tours of the factory to visitors once the main building and visitor area are fully completed the tesla employee did not provide any more information so any additional details will be announced later please subscribe to this channel because once the additional details are announced i will bring it to your attention imagine a situation where there are no car accidents anymore on our roads and now tesla wants to completely prevent crashes with its autopilot Autonomous driving is the future. Tesla is convinced of that. The electric car manufacturer is constantly working on the further technical development of automotive driving functions with occupancy networks. The company has now formulated a very ambitious, um, ambitious goal, especially with the occupancy network. According to the electric car manufacturer, Tesla's full self-driving, it's known as FSD, that software offers intelligent performance and control functions to enable a new level of safety and autonomy. The range of functions is continuously being expanded with the aim that all Tesla vehicles will be completely autonomous in the future and that the occupants will not have to intervene in the driving process. Level 5 driving. When fully autonomous driving is possible, even Tesla's internal options seem to differ but. While Tesla CEO Elon Musk wanted to have uh, bring the first fully autonomous Teslas to the market by the end of 2022 and had to postpone the goal, the head of the autopilot team at Tesla, Ashok Eliuswamy, cannot provide a specific date for the first full autonomous Tesla vehicles on the streets. However, recently the full self-driving expert gave an insight into the future possibilities of the software on YouTube and Twitter. Occupancy networks could prevent Tesla crashes completely. How? In a video showing his appearance at an autopilot team workshop at the Conference on Computer Vision and Pattern Recognition in New Orleans, Elius Swami spoke about occupancy networks designed to give Tesla vehicles a feel, to give the vehicle environment. By the way, I will have that uh, video's link in the description of this video for you to see. Humans have the ability to understand the objects around them at all times. Is the car on the road moving slowly or fast? As a pedestrian, do I have enough time to cross the road before I'm hit? What is the middle of the road street? What's falling, failing out of the sky? I should get out of the way. Should I get out of the way? These are occupancy networks. These uh, scenarios and split-second decisions are natural for humans. Tesla's autopilot team is working on programming the vehicles to do the same. With occupancy networks, vehicles should be able to correctly recognize the vehicle environment. This is to be made possible with the help of cameras installed on uh, all around the car, which not only depict the current environment, but which also used to make a prediction of what environment will look like in the future and where the vehicle can therefore move safely. For example, occupancy networks should be able to recognize the speed at which objects are approaching and on this basis determine a safe radius of movement for the Tesla vehicle. In addition, the vehicle can see around the corner. That's great improvement, right? Elius Vami has such a high expectation of the system that he even promises 
that occupancy networks could completely prevent accidents in the future. The full self-driving functions that are already available would already prevent around 40% uh, accidents a day, especially those that occur when parking or maneuvering. Tesla is working with occupancy networks to expand these functions so that they could also be used in more complex scenarios. Approaches that have been typical up to now, such as image space segmentations or free space or pixel by pixel, that still have problems here. The solution to these problems are occupancy networks. The expert is convinced. Now let's look forward when Tesla will introduce the occupancy networks and how it can expand so we have no accidents on our roads when driving electric cars.